Hello and welcome to this edition of Stevenson Athletics Plays of the Month. This time we're featuring plays from April and May championship season in spring sports. Let's kick it off with something that made it onto Sports Center's top 10, not only our top plays of the month. Kyle Donofrio going behind the back over Lycoming with no angle, deposits that one right in the net. Impressive. Crafty, as described. I think he, he picked something up from his teammate, JT Thielen. Earlier in that same game, he receives a pass from Wade Corvin and goes behind the back, beats the goalie there. I mean, both are just as impressive, so. A, a little bit, can you top this action going on against Lycoming? I for sure could not. I don't know how they do that. They make it look so easy, too. I can't even catch it. Let's move out to some NCAA events, outdoor track and field. Devontae Williams qualifies for both the 100 and 200 meter dash. He would finish the 100 meter dash in fifth place, but posting a third spot in the 200 with a school record 21.07. Devontae would earn All-American honors for both of those events, making him a four-time All-American in his career. Yeah, I mean, he single-handedly almost put Stevenson track and field mm -hmm. on the map. Uh, I mean, his stellar four-year career, you look at it from start to finish, um, unreal. Yeah, in both indoor and outdoor events, he's competing there. He's competing all year round because he plays football, too. Another team that is on the map, men's golf. Day one of the MAC championships, they're down 14 strokes. Not only do they come back to win it the next day, they win it by 16 strokes. Um, it, it's just unreal. It's their second straight Mac Commonwealth title, second straight berth to the NCAA tournament, four overall to the NCAA tournament. That man in the middle, freshman Andrew Wally, won Rookie of the Year honors. He tied for second, along with his teammate Austin Fugelstadt and head coach Chris Raymer. Picked up another Coach of the Year honor. And both of those golfers, Andrew and Austin, uh, picking up some academic on accolades down at the national championship too, which is uh, impressive because they compete all year round as well. Another guy competing year round, I guess being a standout football player, quarterback, isn't enough for Dan Williams. He's going out on the baseball diamond and he's going to throw a no-hitter, just the second no-hitter in school history. He did it on 96 pitches, 61 of them for strikes. He'd send five batters back on strikeouts, including back-to-back -back swinging strikeouts to end the game and just gave two free passes. Williams would earn Mac Commonwealth Pitcher of the Week and NCBWA Division Three Pitcher of the Week, as well as the D3Baseball.com Team of the Week. Yeah, and his teammate, uh, senior Kevin Copas, uh, has a walk-off in the nightcap for the sweep over Albright. They were down 3-2 entering the bottom of the seventh. And a single that gets just past the second base bag there sends home the winning run. And I don't think it's just that performance. He was solid all year round, but definitely helped for him to be named the team's MVP this year as well. And he was also named uh, All-Region as well, so he, he's, he had a stellar season. Yes. Uh, another stellar career so far at Stevenson. Uh, Paul Canepin picking up his 200th career win in the Mustangs Mac Commonwealth title game over Albright. His .782 winning percentage is fourth amongst active coaches in Division Three and sixth in all division. Yeah, he stepped on Stevenson's campus, Villa Julie back then, and all he does is win. I mean, the man is, is producing on the field. Sam, that was cheesy. 200's a pretty uh, good number here at Stevenson. Yeah, senior women's lacrosse player Olivia Montero became the fifth player in program history to record 200 career points. She did so in the MAC, MAC championship in the semifinal, actually, uh, when at home picked it up, and I believe it was on an assist, which is crazy because she scores a lot of goals. Uh, she was the fifth player in program history to record 100 goals and 50 assists, and then this season alone, she scored 55 goals, which is the program record, and also picked up another program record with 68 draw controls. And then she scored total 75 points this year alone. I mean, she's had a stellar career at Stevenson for all four years, but let's talk about uh, some stellar academic accolades here at Stevenson University. Teams competing in the winter and spring sports 
The academic honor roll came out this year. Stevenson had 172 athletes named to that honor roll. Yeah, to be named, you have to receive a 3.2, and it's just for the spring semester alone. It's their championship uh, season, so the MAC changed it instead of cumulative. It's just the season you're competing in, so it makes it even more impressive. A 3.2 is hard enough, but 15 of those 172, perfect 4.0s. Yeah, it, I mean, it's crazy. It, you're competing. I think some people don't realize how much work goes into even at Division three level. Um, they think... It's not as much work as, as Division One, but it's just the same. They're competing just as hard and um, going to class and doing yeah. it all. Yeah. Well, that does it for this year's Stevenson Athletics Plays of the Month, this episode from April and May. But a huge shout-out to all of our athletes and our teams that competed from August all the way up through the end of May. Congratulations. It's been a long season, a long year, and uh, – been fun yeah we'll see you. we'll see you shortly august is just around the corner excited for that first football game out at Frostburg on that thursday yep kicking things off the new year literally <laughs> well that does it for us follow us on facebook twitter snapchat instagram and everything season athletics go to go to mustangsports.com hashtag sting nation <laughs>